Hello inventors, in this video we are going to learn how we can create a Rubik's Cube app in MIT App Inventor with the help of one free extension. So in this video we are going to use here this extension Rubik's Cube, play Rubik Cube in 3D. So go to the MIT App Inventor and click on a start new project and my project name is Rubik's Cube. Now that's our first screen so I'm going to use here one layout and that layout is vertical arrangement like this and let me just make this one fill parent like this cool and now I'm going to use here one button to reset this one like this and make this one as like font size is like 20 and then the text is like reset something and you can change that background color of that button to something that you like something tile and the text color I'm going to make it white like this now click on that screen and make all these things in a center like this now I'm going to use your one label so drag and drop your label but before this I'm going to use your one more thing is layout so use that layout as horizontal arrangement this one I'm going to use your timer okay so this will display the timer of completion of our cube okay so we will make this as a fill parent and I'm going to use your three levels okay so in the first level I will use your text is 30 around and make this one as a zero okay so we can make it as a 40 or 50 so it's look fine and now I'm going to copy paste this and the second level I will make that column sign like this and this one is fine now click on horizontal arrangement and make this one in a both in a center like this so that's our time that's our review cube okay so we have to display our cube here okay now how we can do that so simply first of all download that extension you will get your EIX file I will give you that link in the description download this go to the MIT app inventor click on extension click on import extension and drag and drop it here and import this now drag and drop that extension here and now go to the block section and whenever someone open their app, whenever a screen will initialize, then we will call that Rubik Cubes. So you can see the set of Rubik Cubes layout. So in which layout we have to set this? In this layout, virtual arrangement, this one. So drag and drop this here, like this. Cool. Click on that extension, okay? And you will find here the enable editing. So you can see here Rubik Cube, okay? Rubik Cube set editable. So we will make this as a true like this. Okay. Now you can add it. it. So as you can see, we can add it this. Now we have to set timer. So whenever someone open this app, we need to start our timer. Okay. So, and we need to work on reset button also. So how we can set the timer or start the timer. So first of all, go to the design and we need here one timer. So open sensor, drag and drop that clock here, make it disable okay and go to the block now whenever someone open the screen so we need to start the timer so the timer is like clock and the set timer is enabled timer enables should be true like this okay and whenever we clock like this one on that timer we need to set value so first of all use control if else okay and then first of all we need to increase the value of variable three level three okay so set level three dot text so first of all code for this level three dot text will increase by one so i will use your plus icon and then i will use here the number is like uh, one and the previous value is level three dot text this one okay now first of all we have to set we have to check that the level three value okay so if the level three value is equal to 59 okay so suppose just copy this level 3 dot text is equal to 59 okay is equal to 59 then we will make we will if it's not equal to 59 it's not equal to 59 then we will set level 3 we will increase the value else if it's not like if it's equal to 59 then what I will do I will increase the value of level 1 okay 
and that one is also level 1 like this so whenever this value is like uh, 1 then what I will do here I will set that level 3 tag should be 0 like this okay now let's run this and how it's work cool this one is working fine so what you can do here you can change that speed to 1000 so this will uh, display the correct time it means seconds and minutes okay so now we need to work on reset button so for the reset button go to the block here now we have to rearrange the blocks okay so how we can do that so it's simple so whenever someone click on that button okay this one so on that button click what i will do here click on that extension and you will get here generate random moves okay we, we need to call this so before this so you can see the set move sequence call this and then gen, just generate and the number so i will just generate the one okay i will just generate the one move we need to click on that uh, review cube and you can see here the apply move sequence this one cool now let's uh, refresh this and let's run change see that one is changed and you can just make this one like this see that one is just move the only one okay so that is done now we need to code for whenever someone completed the cube so he can find cube is solved then i will use your notifier so notifier and go to the block and display the message so this one i will display and here the message is done okay whatever you want so i will just choose the title and the button text is okay cool but what i will do i want to display the timer okay at what time i have done that cube okay so what i will do here so first of all i need to stop that timer okay so whenever someone completed the cube so i need to i need to disable this first of all make this enable false okay first of all and then i need to get the time okay so i will use here join so text and you will see here the join this one and i will use your multiple things like strings strings okay and in the first i will use completed completed in okay and i will use here the time so i will choose the time it means level one level one dot text this will display the time from here so level one level two and level three so level two and this one is level three like this okay and uh, now how we can start the timer because we can't start the timer whenever someone open our app so we will start our timer when someone change the uh, when someone start the arranging the cubes okay so cube changed so whenever the cube changed then we will start a timer like this cool so now let's see how it's work or not so let's do it and whenever we, he can see that one but i want to change that or i want to reset that okay that one is resets so that timer is start right now now what i will do i will just change this to like this i will i want to complete this see completed in 0 0.8 seconds and okay so that's the amazing thing you can do a lot more thing here you can see the Rubik's cube and you will find here the sad background color this one see so you can just set background color here and just you can say black like this and refresh this see how it's look cool so there are a lot of things you can do with this and that's the amazing thing so you can complete that app and just publish this app on play store so you can add google add mob in this app and you can publish this app on play store if you don't know how we can implement google add mob so watch this video so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>